Praise God once more. This is Dr. Ozo coming again to you in the powerhouse deliverance telecast and ministration. Today we want to talk about soul ties and sex ties. Very, very important topic, spiritually speaking, and even in deliverance. Uh, this is one of the cases that a lot of people don't know because whenever there is relationship, there is more or less a kind of so tie and we cannot succeed or excel or achieve our god ordained destiny in life if we do not have relationship or meaningful relationship however relationship can be positive it can be negative it can be neutral today so tie has to do with connection linking bonding of consciousness bonding of the heart, the emotions, the intellect, and of course the will. Many a time this is unconscious. In other words, the person doesn't even know that they have so ties. I'll give you an example because there are negative or ungodly so ties and sex ties. And then there is positive so tie or bonding. For instance, the love between husband and wife normally supposed to be a good so tie or godly so tie. Because Christian marriage is married to clean, it's a covenant. So the same way with a mother and a newborn child. Whenever a child is born newly, you need that bonding with the mom. You need that bonding for affection, for love, for care, and for the growth and development of that baby. In fact, it's been said that babies that have been taken away from their mother at birth always have emotional, psychological, and spiritual problems in their upbringing. In other words, there's some form of sense of abandonment or rejection. But I'm talking about negative soul tie today because soul tie is not just a bond, it's a covenant. It's a soulish, integrated bonding that actually affect people, affect their life, affect their interaction, affect God's plan and purpose for their life, affect their entire destiny. I want to read something here because truth is parallel. We use the negative to know the positive. We use what is happening in the natural to actually decipher, discern what is happening or going on in the realm of the spirit or in the realm of the unconscious. Now, look at this very, very verse in the Bible. I'm reading from 1 Samuel chapter 18 from verse 1. And it came to pass, when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. And Jonathan loved him as his soul. Here, this is where we get the principle of soul tie. The word is not in the Bible, but when you read the context and the principle and the thought pattern behind the very context or where we read right just now, you discover that so tie has to do with sometimes we call it tie, sometimes we call it bond, sometimes we call it knitting, sometimes we call it binding together of like-minded soul or thereabout. Because so tie is a covenant spiritually speaking, it can hinder any progress. I'll give you an example. There are people who have married, divorced, or had a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, which later on did not work out. And they move on as if nothing happened. Not knowing that they have an ungodly or evil soul tie with that person. In fact, in deliverance, I've seen this so much more than I could imagine that I have to give it a thought, I have to explain, I have to expand, I have to expound it, and I have to explore more of it for us to really learn 
from what it means to have an ungodly or evil soul type. I've even had it in children who lost their pets. You know, when they lose their pet, they cry or they they cannot be consoled because they are bonded with that pet in love, in harmony, in oneness. They've been doing things together. And once that pet dies or is killed or the pet is, is missing in any way, shape, or form, that child will be unconsolable until they get the pet back or until they get replacement. What do you think happened? That child had a soul tie with that animal with that pet. So, so time can actually hinder somebody from moving forward upward and Godward and from, move, you know, fulfilling God's plan for your life. Now, why is so time dangerous? Because, you see, because it's a kind of evil covenant and evil dedication and commitment in the spirit. It can hinder progress. It can hinder breakthrough. It can hinder God's plan and purpose for your life. It can hinder your plan. It can even hinder your marriage to future partner or another partner. You see, what happened with Sota is, is so bad that I've seen people who got married and their present marriage start having problems. And they were blaming their wife, blaming everybody around, blaming everything. But do you know the problem? was because of the soul tie they had with their former girlfriend, former boyfriend, even though they broke up, spirit, physically speaking, but spiritually, and even in their dream, they are still connected to their sweetheart, to their former girlfriend, to their former sin partner, to their former pet, or to their former union or relationship. This is why so tight is very, very dangerous. So there was a lady that came to me for deliverance one time and the mother has died or died because of suicide. She committed suicide because of the way the father treated the mom. And then the lady, you know, told me from her story that the mom died because the father hated her and the father was abusive. And eventually the mother committed suicide. So while she came for deliverance and she went somewhere else for deliverance and after the deliverance she came to me and I was trying to tell me that well that she wanted to get rid of her mother's stuff. Some of them wanted to put them in the trash, some of them want to sell them, some of them want to take them to pawn shop or give them away to goodwill or salvation army. But something happened. The day she tried to clean up the mother's house she started crying she started weeping she couldn't do it her friends consoled her nothing could be done why she had even gone for deliverance because she had to hold so tight so when she came to me we prayed we broke up the so tight i told her to let the dead go and the dead has no connection with the living and that the mother should be allowed to rest in peace and that she should go on with her life and with her business guess what after the soul tie was broken she actually went back and cleaned her mother's room all alone laughing and called me now why is that so because the soul tie has been broken so when you have a soul tie an ungodly soul tie an evil soul tie especially with somebody who has already died but you're still keeping their pictures. You're still keeping things as if the person is still alive. You're still calling them as if they are there with you and so on. You're having so tired. And eventually, the person can come from the dead through familiar spirit and take the person back and take the person to the other side, you know, and the person might die. That's why sometimes when people die, people start seeing them in the dream continuously. You, you got to go for deliverance so that you can be disconnected, you know, be divorced, and then, you know, remove yourself from this kind of connection because it's not good, it's evil. Another thing so that I can do is to hinder your progress, to hinder your breakthrough, to hinder your victory, to hinder your turnaround. Because of that, 
you understand, understand again that when you experience this kind of hindrance, if you don't go through deliverance and you cannot do it alone, you need a higher grace. You need a, a deliverance prophet who understands this mechanism, who understands these spiritual dynamics, this spiritual phenomenon to break your, to disperse you, to disconnect you, to dismantle these forces trying to hinder you. Because life is about powers, but life is about forces. Life is about energy. Life is about consciousness. If you don't break off this, it will hinder God's plan, purpose, your dream, your victory. You won't even walk in what God has ordained for your life. Now, another thing we have to talk about is the sex ties. The sex ties, because so tie goes with sex ties. You know, of all sin, the sin of fornication is inside the body. It's not just a one night stand. It's not ordinary. It's not casual like people think. Spiritually speaking, when there is a connection sexually, it's deeper. Apostle Paul said all sin are outside the body, but the sin of fornication is inside the body. When somebody had a sin partner, a sex partner in the past, or having sex outside marriage or somebody who is not your wife or illicit sex or ungodly sex or fornication or adultery in any way, shape, or form, it creates a soul tie. And actually, we call this kind of soul tie sex tie. Until you cut it off, it's really hard to marry another person and stay in a fruitful, progressive, good marriage. A lot of people have problems in their relationship that they don't know is because they didn't go to deliverance and get healing from these sex ties. Because when you have sex ties, you begin to have problems with any other relationship, especially people who jump from women to women or people who can, you know, zip their pants open. It's, it's both in the in the women, it's both in the men. So tight can happen, especially the spirit of love, the spirit of marriage and remarriage. It's a very, very strong spirit. The same thing with spirit husband, spirit wife. Because it's a deep thing in the realm of the spirit. They will always try to have a bite of you, a part of you. That's why in foundational issue of family deliverance, there's always spirit husband, spirit wife. Because of marriage. Marriage in the spirit realm is like soul tie. It's like sex tie. It's relationship. It's a covenant. It's not just a contract. It's deeper than the eye could see. It's deeper than physical. So whenever there is soul tie, it hinders every other relationship. It hinders every other progress because we cannot succeed or excel in life without relationship. So we need deliverance through a deliverance prophet to break up the sex tie, to apply the blood of Jesus Christ, to do a deeper work in you, to disconnect you from this sin, sin partner or sex partner or thing that will hinder your life because the sin of adultery or fornication it's a very, very grave sin when it comes to the realm of the spirit. It can block your progress. It can block your success. It can block your moving forward. It can block your ministry. It can scatter your life. It can disorganize you. It can even cause retrogression. It can cause diversion. It can open doors for spirit husband, spirit wife. It can open doors for confusion. It can open doors for loss, stagnation. It can open doors for lack of favor, lack of disgrace. Because it's pollution, it's spiritual defilement. It can even stop you from assessing God's blessing and God's victory and God's promise, covenant, and favor that should have come to you. So, child of God, thank you for listening because this is another uh, thing we need deliverance for. We have a physical deliverance site, 3565 Foster Road, Merita, Georgia, Suite 1051. Merita, Georgia, 30008. We always have a conduct deliverance every Wednesday from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. This is Dr. Ozo. Call us. Our number is 702-884-1334. We are waiting for you. Make sure you subscribe to our video channels in YouTube and then, you know, give us a feedback and give me a call. We are there for you. Thank you. See you in another episode. Bye-bye.